Hello again, welcome to the channel. Hello. Today it's me and Karen, and we're in Brecon Beacons again. And today we're in the Craig Kerry Glaciad Nature Reserve. And we're going to be taking a hike up to Fan Fronic and hopefully do a wild camp. Uh, I don't know where we're going to camp yet. First time we've been up there, so we'll take a look and try and find somewhere suitable. See you in a bit. take is gonna walk through this gate turn right then we're gonna walk all the way around and to the top and then try and find something to camp for the night Ready, Karen? She's taking a different <laughs> approach. Oh, my bone fits through. Which way are we going? That way? That way. Hi guys, taking a bit of a breather. Just admiring the views, really. No, Karen's not fit. True, Karen's not fit. Ooh. She hasn't done a hike for a while. And if I pan round, there. There's Penna Van to the left, Corn D to the right. So many people on top of the Panorama. But it's like um, Queen Street on a Saturday in Cardiff up there. 
Always busy. Doing a bit of foraging. And she's eating bilberries. Yeah, it's vitamin C in. Yeah, vitamin C is. They like uh, blueberries, but smaller. And a little bit sour. Is there? Mm. And whilst I've been waiting, I've been looking at this. You see up there, there's a little bit of a, where it drops down from the top of the ridge. I don't know what it's like from up there, well up there, but that could be a decent place for the tent I reckon. Up there? It? Yeah, it's, it's dropped down from the ridge a bit, yeah. be out of the wind. I don't know how flat it is until we get up there, but... Down the valley. Might be interesting. Or down there, or some level grass down there, I suppose. Yeah. Anyway, we'll I'm see. Hi. Just follow these grey posts, they'll lead us in the right direction. Set that on camera. <laughs> nice place, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that's a black mountain, that is. Hey Bluff. Hey Bluff, that is. Hey, hey Bluff, Lord help us more, isn't it? Yeah. A tumpa. Oh, tumpa. Tumpa. Stick it up your jumper. Right then. I'll wait here for another half hour so Karen gets her ass in gear. Then we can carry on then. Come on, Karen. Up here, baby. Oof. It's all wrong to that post and it put and pull itself up. I'm still liking that ledge up there, I don't know. We'll see what we get up there. Yeah, look at the view we'll have in the morning. Awesome. Right, let's keep climbing. Oh, yeah. If 
think Karen's uh, gonna take the uh, the shortcut. It looks like a bit of a path there by those rocks. In fact, I think I'll join her. We don't need to make it harder than it has to be, so. Oof, nearly went then. Karen, loads of bilberries over here. Hello. Yeah, that's what Karen's been eating. Nice, I'll try one. If you don't see me on another video, you know they're poisonous. Mmm. They're nice, eh, aren't they? Yeah, I'd recommend them. A bit like you would, mate. Beautiful. Any more over there? Huh? Any more? Another way you say that, pudding. 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 Yeah. It's not fair now, is it? My put turn purple. <laughs> right. We'll see you in a short while. Alright guys, made it our way on top of the ridge now. We're gonna walk up there to the left, and I believe there's a cairn over there somewhere. So we're gonna make our way over to there. And then think about um, putting the tent up. Gonna look for somewhere suitable, flat, level, all those things, and then Hopefully set up for the night. I've made my way a bit further around now. I'll just, I'll just show you around a bit quickly. In the distance here, you've got the Black Mountains. There you've got the Central Beacons. And if I turn around this way, you've got the Carmarthen Vans. And over there is probably Van Rekynyog. In a van vower, in a van vower in the distance. So from, from up here, you can pretty much see all of the bracken beacons. Right guys, I just walked up there. That's um, Craig Kerry Glaciad Peak. But it was blowing a gale. I wanted to camp up there, but it's too windy. 
So, we've come back down here and that was a bit, little bit of a pond. And um, it's not that windy here and it's quite flat. Yeah, there's another little dip up there. I'm gonna take a walk up there, see what that's like. Yeah, we'll bring you back. Right then, guys. We've had a look around and we think this is the most level pitch we can find. So if we put the tent, see that's the middle of it there, down that way for the door that ends, we should be fine. We've got a bit of a water source down there, which we'll have to filter. But I'll stick that from my Sawyer Mini anyway. And we've got these views to wake up to. So all in all, pretty decent spot. Right, let's get the tent up. Right, that's the tent all, all pitched up. And as, uh, as there's me and Karen tonight, we've gone for a bit of luxury. We've gone for the Berghaus Peak 3.3 Pro. It's not the lightest tent in the world, but uh, it's quite spacious in there. That'll fit the two of us in there easily. And um, the inner tent is quite dark, so that'll act as a blackout. Not that we'll need it, probably. And there's also a fair size vestibule area where we can do cooking in there, or if it gets a bit windy later, we can sit there and listen to the radio and chill out for a bit. A fair to use is pretty level inside. It's about the best place we could find. So there's the tent, all done. And some pretty decent views. Yes again. Right. It's time to eat soon, so we'll start thinking about getting some food on. See you in a bit. Welcome back, guys. Tonight we're having steak and mushrooms. Bit precarious, there, isn't it? No, you can falls on you, not me. What do you reckon then guys? Steak, mushrooms, red onions, cheese, the panini. That's what you call camping, camp cooking. Beautiful. I wish you could smell this, I really do. Right, dinner is served. I've got a panini there, a bit of cheese in it. I put a bit of steak, mushroom, onion. I got some Dijon mustard in my bag. So we're gonna tuck into this. We'll see you a bit later. Check that out. Now for the taste test. Mmm. Oh. That is tender. I thought it'd be tough as old boots, but it's not. It's not a snake, darling. It's fine. 
lovely. Hi guys, welcome back. Fat that tea, you know, just gonna have a couple of glass cups of wine, listen to a bit of radio, and then turn in for the night. So we'll see you in the morning. Bye for now. Morning guys. It's about half five in the morning. Just got up. Got out of the tent. And look at that. Don't know if you can see them, but there must must be 30 odd lights going up. People going up Penna Van to get the sunrise. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but you can see it with a naked eye. Unbelievable, really. And that's what they're going up there for. It's going to be a good one, I reckon. Clear morning. <laughs> it wasn't that warm in that tent last night. Karen had our down jackets on. All oh, lights. It was pretty chilly to say the least. But anyway, I'm gonna stay up now. See if I can get some decent pics of the sunrise. <laughs> That is Karen. Yeah. That one there is even bigger. It's not a bear print, is it? You see where this starts there? <coughs> what is it, the panther we saw in the Allen Valley? Oh, you know. Made this way over to Fan Frunach. Well, there's a tree point in the distance. We were going to come up here, here last night, but we thought we'd do it this morning because we've got the sunrise on this way. Yeah, 
Yes, yeah, so we're on the top of the trick point. There's my altitude app. And we're 629.42 meters above sea level. Hi right, guys. Just got back to the tent now. Start packing up. One there. This is mad. <laughs> what I'm doing, I've got a app on my phone called Chirp, and all these are sisking. All I'm doing is playing the um, the uh, song they make, and they're all coming over and landing on the tree right by me. Mad. There must be twenty of them. Must be some sort of amazing call or something. Don't know what it is. I've seen nothing like it. Try it again. Here they come. More coming out. Beautiful looking bird. There's a rumour coming round that I attract all the birds. I don't know where that came from. That's cool. 